Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 and welcome back to Grand Pulse. We're still here. We haven't left yet. Told you we are going to be here for a while. But I did decide to meet you back over here in the big ass Central Expanse area where all the fun is going down because this is where our mission finding shall continue. And actually, right off the bat, if you'll notice, there's a yellow stone that wasn't here before that's right here. And it's another teleport stone, and it will be nice to have because it'll teleport us back out here to the main big central area. And also, I believe this actually is mission nine. Indeed, right where we left off. Last time last time we uh, left off with mission eight, we did it. Now we're on mission nine. And it's Heave Ho, it's a Kaiser Behemoth. This is gonna be fun. Even with the power of a Lassie, a Kaiser Behemoth? Really? So I have for the choice of being gored to death beside that pond, or wandering the wilds as an eternally damned seeth. Lovely. All those years of hard work and careful planning for this, I should have lived more for the moment. Alright, so I know I promised to like plan out a little bit more, like what I'm gonna do today, but pretty much I'm just gonna go in order on the missions until until I just end up moving on with the story because at some point my marks over there at some point this the missions will sort of lead me in the right direction to continue with the story so I'm just gonna bank on that and for now just kind of move on also no don't attack me leave me alone they missed like a bunch of nubs a bunch of nubby ass missers all right you guys ready to take on the Zekaiza behemoth because he is a mark, pretty sure you can't sneak up on him, but um, if you could, I would. If you could, I would. He doesn't have any friends, right? It's just him? Alright, just him. Also, we are totally in the wrong... Actually, this might be a good place to start with the debuff buff thing. Actually, this is a good idea. I kind of forgot we were about to do a mark that is probably going to be difficult. Maybe a good idea to do the buff debuff thing. So having hope to start this off is probably a good idea. Normally I would complain, but we also don't know much about this guy, so we gotta hope for the best. You better hear that boy, he's about to hit you with some motherfucking buffage. You better buffing that boy. Damn, he keeps getting heave hoed. Stop heaving him, he's just a boy. Alright, I don't think he's gonna buff us anymore, so let's get over to the Relentless Assault and let's get it cracking. What did we do to him? We slowed him down, and we hit him with, uh, Imperil, or Curse, or one of those things. Either way, whatevs. <sighs> so the problem with the Behemoth, as usual, we're gonna build up this fucking meter, and as soon as he gets close to dying, he's probably gonna do the same thing the other Behemoths do, where he switches into stand on two feet mode. And then, I don't know if he's gonna heal himself, though. That's one thing that the last Behemoth we had to fight on a regular basis was doing. He's standing up on his back feet and healing himself like an asshole. I'm not a big fan of that. No one should be smart about this and do a lot of paradigm shifts between diversity and attacking. Also, ow! Also, ow! That hurt, mommy. He's like, we're doing good damage, but... Then he goes into this mode and ruins everything. Does it actually start over the bar or anything? He did get all his health back, but it did not start over his bar. Okay, that's a good sign. He did dispel himself also. I wonder if we should, like, do some more of this shit. He's doing Fogga! Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright, luckily, luckily for me, I have Isuna as an option. Hope, don't die. Bang, <laughs> can you like, yeah, I was like, can that magic thing wear off on her? Cause man. Shit, he died. Ah, shit. Shitty titties. Wake up, Hope. Keep the enemy off back. Directly, fuck it. Oh, I actually got him with, with, the, with the status text. Good, good, good. Okay, that worked out all right. I'm gonna have to buy some Phoenix Downs. I haven't bought any Phoenix Downs in this playthrough yet. I'm actually kind of amazed that I've made it this far without buying any. I actually haven't spent, like, any money on this playthrough. Like, at all. Kind of surprised. I did mention last episode that I haven't been selling any of my shit to make any money either. 
Because I definitely have some items I could sell for some money at this point, like that are just supposed to be for making money. Not that I'm going to get a ton of money out of it, but the fact that I only have 13 thou gil and I've, you know, 11 chapters into the game should tell you something about how much money doesn't really matter in this in this game unless it really doesn't matter. In the scope of just beating the game, I'd say money doesn't matter at all. Unless you really rely on those Phoenix Downs. No, he hit everybody with magic. I don't like that. Me no like you that. That's what I'm saying though, like, you, you could upgrade your weapons and stuff, but it almost feels like it doesn't matter. Right now. Anyway, we need that fucking silence to wear off, game. Hurry up, game! Damn it. Took too long to wear it off. It's alright, we're about to win anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it's just lame. Anyway, we all victorious. Woot. We have beaten the Kaiser Behemoth, no problem. And that unlocks us a new teleport spot. Bitch in. So anyway, as I was saying, before I started talking about whatever the hell I was been talking about. Also for winning we get some Rodocus Rodox Rodocrosite. Rodocrosite. I always thought it was Rodoscrite, but no, it's Rodoscoscrite. Rodos Rodoscoscrite. That's too many Rododo Coast Ghost Ghosts. Chose O Ghost, you know. Um, anyway, I was going to say, I have a list of all the missions right now uh, that I'm just going to use while I go here. And just kind of sort of mention, or I shouldn't say mention, but like find the area where they're at. So this one's in the in the central expanse. I wonder if this is this next mission is just this one up here, just north of me, this shiny little mission marker. Let's go see. Let's go see if mission 10 is this one right over here. Let's go check it out, eh? Check it out, eh? Oh, check it out, eh? Are you mission 10? Be mission 10. Hey, look, it's mission 10. Wow, these missions really do lead you from one to the next. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, alright, cool. So this is the Ambling Bellows, Hollow Hope. It's in the high plane. The war claimed my family. The war claimed my home. This focus is my last remaining hope. I long for the release of Crystal Sleep. Perhaps when I wake, the world will be a better place. I should hurry and destroy the Ambling Bellows, raising havoc on the steppes northern high plane. And based on the uh, silhouette of the enemy over there on the left, which is kind of hard to see, really, uh, it looks kind of mechanical, doesn't it? With those feet? Looks like he's got robot feet. Alright. So this one, I think, is also in this area somewhere. We just gotta figure out where. Is the star visible, or do I gotta go wandering to find this star? Let's go see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. The star doesn't seem to have appeared on my map. <sighs> Which means we gotta go wandering. Yay. Maybe I should just look at the map. Because he's in the northern high plane. This bellows. Bedfellow Bellow. Okay, so based on what I see on the map. Let's see, wait, where is that on my map? Do I even have that on my map? Because I'm here, and you're there, and I'm here, and you're there, and I'm here, and you're there. I think I just need to go across the plane more. I think the star will be pretty apparent once I've gone further across this plane. I just need to go, like, the direction of this empty void out here. I just need to go that way. See, now I'm turning my... I turned myself, and then the map got all fucked again. I don't like this. I don't like it. Anyway, I want to go this way. Into the great yonder of area I haven't really been to yet. So let's just wander for a bit, shall we? Into the great blue yonder. Let's wander. Also, I think I, there's another seed stone over here. I believe this is one we haven't gone to yet. Actually, it's not shiny, so... This, yeah, it's already one we've done. It's already all... Yeah. Has the silhouette like we completed it already. We're good. In that case, I'm just going to keep heading this direction. Yeah. I do not recommend fighting the giant tor Adamantoys turtles. Yes, they're Adamantoys. If you've played any Final Fantasy, you know. Uh, there are smaller ones and larger ones. 
Um, I believe they're called gooeys or long gooeys or something. They're not really called animan toys, but whatever. I don't recommend fighting them. They won't. They're not. They're they're kind of. Uh, can't really aggro them. I mean, unless you walk up to their leg, and then they they will get aggro, but they don't really come after you. They're not trying to come after you. They're docile turtles, man. What can you expect from a docile turtle? They ain't trying to fox with you. Eventually, I'll have to show fighting one of them. It's 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 one of the biggest parts of doing everything in this game is beating one of those turtles. It's it, it's, it becomes a way of life if you've played this game enough. But for now, we are not on that level. Literally, we are not on that level. I do not want to fox with you, flying guy. Get out of here. Um, I'm just looking for the star to appear on my map so I can go fucking get it. I know it's in this direction. At least I think. If I could only tell which way was north. Fucking game. And your stupid map that I can't lock into place. Whatever. The more the map we uncover, the more we'll just be able to find stuff in general as we go. I, I mean, this place is called the Central Expanse. It is pretty big. In fact, it's by far the biggest map in the game, I would say. Just this area alone. I don't think we can get by here without fucking with this turtle, huh? I wonder if the, this is the Eastern Tours. This is East? Which way is fucking North, then? God damn. I'm gonna hope it's this way. Please don't fly at me, flying guy. I did nothing to you. Leave me alone! So as you can see, we're also kind of going the way we need to go to continue on with the story. The yellow arrow is pointing this direction. Uh, the star still hasn't appeared. There is another waystone over here, though. I'm tempted to go see what number it is since I'm on my way this direction anyways. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Just see what number it is literally in the direction I'm going. Can't hurt. Also, I don't want to fight Big Boy over there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, it's getting a little foggy over here. Getting a little foggy. It's actually kind of scary. So scared. Alright, let's see what number this is. Just a number. I just want a number. What number are you? This is 11. Okay, so this is probably not far away from where, we're, where the enemy we're looking for. Because I'm doing number 10 right now. So let's double check the map now. Has my motherfucker appeared yet? Hmm. Oh, there it is! Actually, there it is! Okay. Nice. We finally got far enough onto the damn map to fucking uncover the bastard. That's good. Took long enough. Alright, we shall return to this spot when I have number 10 complete. I should have known it was going to be toward the direction of moving on. It makes sense. Like I said, each thing leads to the next, man. Each thing leads to the next. I didn't. I don't think I ever realized how much each thing led to the next because I certainly did not do these in order when I first played this game. I was one of those ex explorational little bastards who just literally just combed everything and just did the missions as I found them. Ah, crap. I got to go around? Ah, crap, dude. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Well, that's... That's crap. I'm glad I came up here to get cornered by a bunch of behemoths that I don't want to fight. Especially since they're all in groups of two. I don't even want to fight one of y'all bitches and there's two, 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 two. Bunch of couples. This is the behemoth fucking ground, clearly. You don't want to mess around with the behemoth fucking ground. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Wasn't a treasure up there, was there? Well... Don't fox with the turtle. Sure does. Puts things in crazy perspective. Okay, there's a treasure right in front of this turtle, but I don't think you can grab treasures when they're that close to a guy, because it'll lock me into a battle. Yeah, see, I don't want. We don't want that. God, this area is huge. Jeez. I remember it being big, but good lord. So much. He's so much. I'm just trying to get over to where I need to be, and it's so long. It's so long. Monstrous Fang. Demon Fang. Oh, I can't even go this way. 
God damn it. I gotta go around even more. <sighs> well, only a little bit. Just to right here. We're okay. But I did see that there's some big boys in the way over here. Oh, they're fighting each other, though. You know what? Can we avoid that? Because I would like to not fight them. Ah, oh, you ass! He backed right into me, dude. He backed that ass up. Boy, who is you playing with? Back that ass up. You asked for it. Alright. I'm going for Behemoth King. I'm going for him. He's the more annoying of the two. Go for him. He's half dead. Get him. Better to take one out quickly. Yeah, especially since his stagger bar is ridiculous. And so we do hella damage. That 9 hundo multiplier is absurd. And I'd use double commando, but I'm fe I fear that they'll attack the other guy. Which we don't want to do yet. Anyway, victory upon the Behemoth King is... Here. Alright, now... Mega Megastoth... What is he called? Megastoth... There? Megas... Megistotherian. I don't know. Megistotherian? Sure. sure. Fuck him up, Therian. That's all I can call him. First time fighting one of these guys, even though they look like a couple of the bosses we've already fought. Basically, pal swap of that shit. That's how all these these missions we're doing are right now. They're just pal swaps of monsters that are out here in the plane naturally. They, it pretty much is just a stronger, more HP ridden version of the same shit. All the more reason why I haven't been adamant about fighting everything we see, because it's just, it's just too much, man. We already got to do a bunch of walking. So far, I haven't really struggled too hard with any of these missions. There was that last one we did last stream, or one of the last ones. I think it was Mission 7. The one where we had to fight the flying guy. He was pretty rough, but we got him. As soon as I switched Hope in there, we got him. Also, damn, 66 hundo for killing those two guys. Not bad. That's not a bad one to, like, maybe grind. Anyway, here's our mark, by the way. It is looking like a machine, motherfucker, like I mentioned. I do have 20k Crystarium points right now, so let's use them. Um, I'm working on the ATB level, right? We're almost there, aren't we? Wait, what was I doing with her? Oh, no, I wasn't doing that. I was I was learning moves with her Ravager. That was it. I forgot. Ravage. Right. Okay, so I was learning Aurora. Boom, that's done. Okay, and then I was going to go learn the next moves, which are Flame Strike and Frost Strike, which sound like a great idea. But it's going to cost me a lot. Indeed. It's okay. Shit is expensive, what can you say? Alright, and this boy over here, trying to get that ATB level though. Actually, I was trying to learn Bravery and Faith, and we're about to learn them both. Let's go. Worth it. Hell yeah, worth it. Also, 100 more HP, hell yeah. Alright, and we're almost at that ATB level as well, which is nice. He'll be, that means he'll have 5. D we already got the one for Fang, right? Yeah, she's already at 5 ATB. Not bad. I think right now I was just working on learning the rest of her moves as of Commando. Which means we gotta get Ruinaga. Got him. So that's another 16k we gotta get, or slightly less. More like 13k. We'll have ourselves some Ruinaga. Alright. Looking good. One of these days I'll have to go through Saz and Snow and Vanilla and actually... Well, at least Saz and Snow. Vanilla, I'm going to probably use her again relatively soon. Saz and Snow might be sitting on the bench for a little while until they make me use them again. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and give this guy a shot. I don't, I don't really remember. I know these guys are armory. I mean, you can look at them. They're big machine. Look, bucks. They're going to be a little bit annoying. Also, what? You can... What? I didn't think I could actually get a, a sneaky attack on this guy. Well, that's weird. I'm not complaining. Hell no. We're gonna go straight aggression on this fool. Okay. Eh. It's falling apart too fast. He has way too much thick defensive and, and HP and stuff. He's not he's just not taking damage fast enough. Alright, start rebuilding it back up, children. Eye on that damage. He hits a little bit hard. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Go ah! He hits so hard, though. Why'd you gotta go for lightning, though? Why'd you gotta go for her? 
Why'd you gotta go for her? What a dick. I didn't expect him to just go straight for her. That was that was ass. Did I mention that that was ass? Well, in that case, not a big fan. I don't mind weakening him first. All right, we got him in. We got him in that mode. Get him. I didn't really get to weaken him much, but I did get protect on myself, so that's good. That will help us with getting owned. This is actually doing more damage than when I was using Tom Comrade. And slam him down. Slam him! Oh, you didn't slam jam him, girl. Look on your fucking jam, girl. Still hits pretty hard. Let's see if we can maybe... Dude. Dude. Can you, like, slow him down? That'd be real helpful. He's got weak lightning, weak, wa weak water. He delivers devastating physical attacks. This is a true statement. Devastating oh, injury. We're gonna go diversity. This guy's rough. Okay, we can lower. We can basically make him do no magic, and he's slow, so that's double good. Okay, cool. He doesn't. Uh, he's got a lot of status immunities, but he ain't immune to the ones that Fang has. That's good. He's got a big enough stagger bar before we actually do some decent damage just building it up. That's good. Hope, you may you must live, Hope! Dude, he is attacking way too much right now. We're being slowed down? Fuck that. Alright, we're gonna get him on this round right here. It's gonna be old. It's gonna be over, son. Light him up. Launch that motherfucker right here. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, boy, boyo is done. Sit down, boyo. That's how it's done. That is how it's done, Lighty. You let them know that we don't play around. We get five stars, and that's all we get. Let's go. That's ten missions, guys. We are. A fifth of the way, a sixth of the way. How many missions are in this game? 60 something, I want to say. We're a sixth of the way there. Hell yeah. Anyway, I wish this mission would pop up. I'm pretty sure it's a yellow one that maybe let us teleport back over here, but I don't know what the prereq is to make that one pop up. Needless to say, we're not going this way right now. We're going to go back and do mission 11. Fun, fun, fun. Got to go back to Behemoth Sex Town. Good times. Be strong. Come, please. Hey, Behemoth. Bye, Behemoth. Leave me alone. Oh, my God. You see that? On the map, that red dot fucking rushed my ass. Hell no, nah, dude. Hell no. Nah. All right. I guess I can notch the volume up a couple notches so I can actually hear something. Just sitting here listening to my Xbox make loud ass vibrations. Not always the best ambiance for a video game. I feel like when I played this game and I got to this point, I had the volume down and I was listening to music or watching a movie or something while I got to this point. Because this is just a lot of walking around. I'd, I've had a feeling it's probably a little rough around the around the edges when it came to commentary. Although I feel like last episode we did pretty good. Last stream I was we were babbling about a lot of random stuff, talking about movies and. All sorts of stuff. Also, where the fuck am I going? This is not where the thing is. 
is over here somewhere there it is all right but it looks like today we have a sparse chat so we may have to just go into babbling about whatever mode today when I talk to myself it's good times <laughs> Alright, my focus, Pride Before a Fall, Adroa. Didn't we fight an Adroa already? I don't know. My focus this time appears to be dispatching an Adroa on the Archelite Step. I don't know how many years have passed since the fallacy last called upon me, but there seem to be more beasts about. Not that it matters. Provided I can complete my focus and retain my master's favor, I will never die. And a little hardship is a small price to pay for an eternity of peaceful dreaming. I know, right? Sounds... Like cake. This really is the valley of fucking giant turtles. I remember this valley, and it is not a good place to try and go when you are at the same level as me right now. Anyway, okay, uh... Where is this one? Please tell me I can find it without... Yep, there it is, okay. So from where we're at right now, which is way the fuck over here, I gotta go that way. Ooh, okay. It's kind of over by a place we've been, but we didn't kind of walk that direction yet. Walk that way. Jog that way. Walk that way. Jog that way. <sighs> so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do tomorrow, because... Tomorrow I will be posting the last Hollow Knight episode I have edited, you know, edited and rendered that I have of the footage from that you know I streamed last this past weekend. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna stream tomorrow, or if I'm gonna stream at all tomorrow. I think I'm gonna end up deciding based on whether or not I get home early or not. Because if I have enough time, I could do a couple of hours of Hollow Knight probably but I also feel like we're not gonna have a lot of people on a like um and Thursday evening and plus it'll only be a couple hours now don't get me wrong I play Hollow Knight for a couple hours that's not really the problem but I feel like it'll be weird because I'm probably gonna stream for a bunch of hours on Saturday so I don't know my brain will make a choice by the time I get home tomorrow or when I'm sitting at work tomorrow and now I'll make a choice. Because what I'll probably end up doing if I don't stream, I'll just record some more goddamn if my heart had wings. I'm almost done with the Agatha path, damn it. And then I can finally have one more path to do. I can't. That game is taking me way too long to finish. Which is good and bad, because what it's mainly doing is making me not even think about starting Danganronpa yet. So I'm, I've already told myself I ain't I ain't doing no Danganronpa until I'm done with this goddamn McMahon High Wing shit. Random two hour game tomorrow? Eh, probably not. If I do a random two hour game, it'll just be me playing like. I'll just play Tetris 99 or some shit. <laughs> or Rocket League or something. Better that I just record some if my heart High Wings if that's the case. Because I'd rather make some progress on some shit that I need to get done than to sit here and play. <laughs> A new game. Cause I already got to start a new game now that I finished up Beyond uh, Good and Evil yesterday. So, got to make some choices. Now. I mean, I already know what game I'm playing next, but I got to decide when I'm going to start it. Cause we should be good on episodes for Beyond until Saturday. 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 So I don't know. Maybe I'll end up streaming Hollow Knight on Friday. We'll see. Anyway, this should be an easy fight. Didn't we already fuck up a bunch of these Adroas? I feel like we fought a harder battle than this. It was like a group of four Adroas and four of one of those other little bastards that looked like these guys. I might be misremembering that. Either way, whatevs. Fuck them up. Oh, he's summoning more of them, I just realized. Okay. So he is summoning more. That's what I thought. Thanks. Oh, he's, he didn't just summon more. He summoned one of those. Oh, you're a dick. 
you're a real mick asshole right now, dude. Oh, that was not what I was hoping for right now. Well then. We're going for the slow, the slow long game on this one then. Because if I don't, that's too many enemies to be jumping my girl. I can use a drawers. There should be another one down. Draw A is about to be dead. This is good. Thanks. Right, another one. Right, do not go for the flan yet. The flan is not your concern yet. You gotta get rid of these vertelettes. That's why these guys are annoying. I should... Uh, see, to focus on these guys, though, is hard. Yeah, fucking Vertilettes. I forgot about these motherfuckers. I thought it was all Adroas. So this is basically the same kind of battle we fought before. Adroas and Vertilettes. Motherfuckers. I should've just went for these guys with the race car fucking flag on their back. The checker flag, man. Bunch of assholes. Anyway hopefully get him on this stagger swag right here. Should be good to kill him off. Finish him, please. Thank you. Good, 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 very good. And to finish the other bear lead, I don't want him to summon another one. That's the only reason I'm not even going to bother with the flame. Because what's the point? Thanks. Damn it. Huh. Alright. Fuck this vertelette up, dude. Fuck him up. Take the hits if it can give me a victory. I just want to stagger him. He's almost dead anyways. Piece of shit. Alright. Is he... Oh, God, he's still not dead, dude. Finish him! Jesus. Okay. Now we can work on the flan. Oh, Alright, be careful though. These guys can be a little, a little tricky if you're not careful. A little tricky dicky. New strategy. Go for the win. Here it comes. New strat. Go for the win. Victory will be on this stagger. We're good. We're good. And that will be another mark complete. And I'm hoping that mark number 12 or hunt number 12 is nearby. Mission 12, whatever the hell they're called. Sea stone missions. I guess that's what they're called. One whole star because I totally didn't fight that the correct way. I did that the bass backwards way. But we won, so who cares? Two frost rings. Hell yeah. The pride before your mom. Let's go. All right. So from there, the nearest mission stone is actually over here. It looks like there might be a cutscene over here as well. Yeah, maybe. Uh, well, let's go on on the assumption. Let's operate on the assumption that this is the mission stone we want to go to. Let's go see if it is. I didn't really want to go up here. Game game. Thank you. Fucking controller's like, nah, you want to go up there, right? No. No! Listen to me now! Oh, you fuck faces. I don't want to fight two of you. Fighting two of them. Here we go. Actually, I wouldn't mind Thanks. doing a little bit of little debuff action on them. Save us some time. Would not mind at all. Appreciate it. Preach, much preach. 
Yeah, it's cool that you want to heal yourself and all, but like, Hope's dying. Uh, we got all the protection that we need. If we hit him with any debuffs, I don't really care. Let's get him. Uh, we need I gotta let Hope get some heals. Ah, shit. Hurry up and do the things, man. Okay, so this guy's slowed and whatever. Cursed. Imperiled. One of those two. One of those things is happening to him. Thank you. Let him assault on this fuck. Let's get him. Don't let him. Don't let him survive the night. Everyone must fudge him. Yeah, you really want to get hoping on the action with the Ravager. His magic is just too strong, man. You want to get him in on it. His enemies are weak to anything magic related. You want hope in on it. Change of plan. Actually, didn't mean to go double calm there. He's so close. To I like that he actually staggers when you hit him. That's nice. It saves you a lot of effort. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Keep him up in the air. Man, if we can get hope some goddamn Fira, he'd be a fucking menace right now. It's too bad I've been working on synergists. Goddamn. It's alright. Good. One flan at a time, we are victorious. Now, you'll get to see our first look at one of these red wall things. I don't really remember what you do to uh, open up these red walls, but they're there. I don't really remember what we do to un un undo those. I don't know. Maybe you just have to do this sea stone mission. Well, I think that just answered my question right off the bat. These sea stone emanations block roads and pathways all across Grand Poles. Complete the mission on the sea stones near them and they will dissipate. Be warned that the marks of these missions are formidable foes and you need not slay them all. Should you decide to undertake one on these missions, be prepared for a grievous challenge. Well, it's number 12. I mean, it's on the way. Why not do it? Unless it's too hard. What's a guy Sarek? I don't even know. Yeah, let's read it. Shall we? The undying, fearsome Seath, who defy foul sea, will, driven by an intense loathing of all that lives. A fa of def who defy a foul sea will. Sorry, I read that wrong. Gyseric, the profane, is of their number, and my focus is his doom. He is said to lead a horde of Seath on the steppe's western benchland. To think you would become such a Seath, Gyseric. You, who could not harm a fly, whatever part of you lingers in that grotesque prison of crystal and flesh must suffer. I will set you free, my friend. I guess we're gonna try. Formidable foe. I guess we're gonna find out how formidable momentarily. The question is, how far away is he? I really don't know. Dang, he's way the fuck over here. Jeebus. Oh, actually, he's not really that far. <laughs> I mean, he's far, but he's not like. I, th I went all the way around him with the fucking joystick, but it was. I literally just have to come out of this, this dead end and. Make it make a big hard U-turn around the wall here, and fight if I must. Yep, I knew those guys were gonna rush me. I should have just attacked them myself. Oh well, shouldn't be a problem. Let's get him. Gorgonopsids. Gorgonopsids. Still not sure how to fucking really pronounce it correctly. Gorgonospids. Easy peasy, y'all. Although they are jumping the fuck out of Hope. God damn, they jumped the hell out of him. I mean, I wasn't healing, to be fair, but still. They jumped his dumb ass. See why you need to level up more before you move on with the game? If you can still get killed by Gorgonopathopathid this evilly, you gotta fuck him up, dog. And done. Okay. Again. It's all worth it because the CP. Even if it's only a thousand. A thousand can push you over, uh, you know, one level up at some point. 
So this is one we already did, I'm pretty sure. It's not flashing on my map, so I assume it's done. The silhouette around those isn't always like 100% like obvious to me. Is this even the right way to get over here where I need to go? I assume so. I might have to go around or something. Such a big ass open area over here, I don't even know how much of it we're actually going to get to go to. Also, you can see Cocoon from here, by the way. There it is. I haven't really shown it. That's how you know which way you're supposed to go. Go toward Cocoon, that's the way. Cocoon will show thee the way. Alright, well, all that open area over there I don't think you can get to, but you can get over to there. I even see treasures over there. So let's work our way around. Ooh, I want that treasure in the middle of that water over there, but I think it's in the middle of the water, so I can't get to it. Oh boy, is that... Is that who we're looking for right there? Maybe. I don't remember there being this many yellow seed stones. Because this is going to be another yellow one right here. And I crossed, I passed by a yellow one earlier too, didn't I? Yeah, like there's one over here by this water over here too. Like it wasn't available to do yet, but I didn't remember there being that many yellow ones. That's actually nice to fast travel around, but I swear there was way less of them. Clearly I was wrong, so... That's fine. I'm glad I'm wrong about that. This is just a fucking Seath graveyard over here. There's just Seath everywhere. It's gonna be fun. Can I get treasures without fighting? That'd be nice. Smooth hides. Mm. Real smooth, baby. Real smooth. Ice charm, huh? Okay. Okay, so my mark's not over there. That's good, because there's a lot of dudes over there. He's over here. Hopefully. It did say he had Seath friends. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a cutscene starter. Uh-oh, here we go. Ah, shit, dude. Well, that's certainly unique looking. Well, now I'm worried, because I have no idea how bad this guy's going to smash on my ass. Jeebus. Please tell me it's just you and not you don't have any friends. It's just me and you, right? God, I hope so. Yay, looks like it's just me and him. Cool. Alright, focus on status effects then, because this could be a bad, bad time. But we have Brave and Faith now, too. This could be very good. Also, oh no! See, that's what I was scared of. Change of plan. That was bad. Okay, double heal, everybody. <laughs> double heal everything. All right. Good lord, guy, Sarek, you are already an asshole. I'm really glad we slowed him down, though. We got him with a slow. That's gonna be helpful, hopefully. What's he doing? Okay, I can live with a backhand. Backhand is, is a manageable move. Hope, you need to start hitting people with more status effects more quickly. Because right now, Fang ain't even doing shit. She already hit him with what she's got. Was he... Okay, he immune to one and susceptible to the other two. Good to know. Thank you. That's the move I was waiting for. Now, switch to diversity. Here we go. Don't worry. Time to build it up. Take it down. This is probably going to be a long one, because look at that health bar. Not even move yet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Actually, having this Brave and Faith will probably speed up the process. Looks like his stagger bar is too giant either, which is nice. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Hold on. I don't know what he's doing, but I don't like it. Thank you. I kind of want to relentless, re relentlessly assault him right now because he's about to fucking get up. <gasps> you can launch him! Okay, that's very nice. I didn't realize. But, did we find a weakness? He's weak to fire. Okay, well. That's about as good a place to start as any. I can burn him. Burn him to the ground. You are going to launch him again, aren't you, Fang? You are going to... Why would you not launch him? What are you doing? You should always be launching him, Fang. Oh my god. We're gonna die because of this shit. You fucking put us in danger. I am in the danger. Oh god, here comes the dead. Woo! Okay, we're okay. Stomp isn't as bad. You just don't want the pound down. Dude, you didn't launch him. 
Doomed. Thank you. Whatever. Thanks. Right. We got like a quarter of his health, beaten, which I guess is an okay start. Do I have Sab on it on her at all other than this one? No? Okay. It's fine. Oh, it's not fine anymore. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Slow him the fuck down, please. The stomp move we can live with. God damn. Dude, put the fucking status effects on yourself, dude. You need it. For real. God fucking damn it. Stop it. Alright. Alright. At least he's still slowed. Alright, so that bitch is back up. Let's just start doing doing the build up on him again. We haven't even been able to touch him for the last few minutes, and if we don't touch him, this is a waste of time. Bad part right now is Fang doesn't have any status saving points. I do have Sin on this one. I could go this Med Sin Commando just to keep that stagger bar up. That's actually what I should have been doing. Huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Are you done giving her status? Come on, man. Alright. Keep the enemy off balance. Let's get that fucker get that staggered motherfucker up and then go fuck it. Go launch him! What are you doing? Go launch him. Oh my god. How did you miss the launch? You didn't launch him. Damn it. Change of plan. There you go. How hard was that? Apparently impossible. Keep the enemy off balance. Uh-oh. Lightning doesn't have our defense right now. I need to be careful. Oh, shit! I saw that coming from a mile away. I was like, uh-oh. Her defense got fucked up. Uh-oh. Damn it. Battle's gonna take a long time. Man. What am I gonna do differently? I can win this though. He just hits so fucking hard. What can I do to offset that? I don't think I have any accessories that'll like knock down his fucking physical damage. <sighs> He's probably immune to all like the strength weakening things. The fact that I can hit him with slow is about as nice as it's gonna get. Um, I have very minimal amount of Crystarium to even like up myself even a little bit. A little bit of magic. I'm short on learning either one of these, but Flame Strike would certainly be nice. Actually, probably would be really nice. Um, Ravage. Is actually pretty close to getting that damn ATB level. <sighs> so close, it's so far. And we don't really need Ruinaga for this fight, so it should be fine. Okay. You got it on the next attempt? Thanks, Allegory. I hope so. Alright, uh, I'm gonna, I was gonna check my accessories real quick. Also, what's up, Allegory, man? How you doing? Yeah, my physical resistance, I don't think I can go much higher than that. My only other bet would be to go actually like level up my accessories. Ice charm, resist ice, scavenger, yes, yeah, you know this shit's helpful. Soul front, resist damage. Shell, yeah, none of this is really that helpful. Like I can't really change much to really do anything. Collector catalog. Actually if you want good item drops from certain enemies who actually do give you drops this is the item or one of the items you want to use item scavengers actually one of the things you want 
Uh, right now I'm okay because we're not fighting or trying to grind out any certain items, so we're okay. But that's definitely one of the ones you want to use. Um, yeah, I'm good. Let's just fucking try again. Exhausted. You've been busy. Been a busy week. Week busy weekend. Busy everything. Yeah, you missed the smash open again, man. Well, I'll probably be doing smash again Saturday as usual. I'm gonna try to keep doing it every Saturday and try not to skip it. Should be fine to keep going this Saturday. I don't think I have any plans on Saturday, so it should be okay to continue the smash open this Saturday. But I always say that. You never know what'll happen. I have been fine. Been going pretty decently. God damn it. I might be better off not doing this one right now. I don't have to do this one right now. I'm just trying to go in order. But I didn't expect one of these to whoop my ass so hard. I might just pass on this. Like, I might still do it in this trip around holes. Like, I might have to fucking... I might have to, like, go around and do some more missions so I can get a little more powerful. Because this guy just hits me too hard. I need some defense, man. Or HP or whatever. Dude. I, I I might just yeah, I might just call this a wash. I don't, this just seems a waste of timing. Is he already hit with slow? Cause it doesn't seem like it. He is fucking still hitting us every way too often. Stomp, I can live. Okay. Yeah, okay. He needed to get protect on himself. You're worried about your plans this weekend, but you'll try? Hey, man. That's all I can ask. If you want to be there, you gotta try. To be fair, though, this past weekend's open challenge was very, uh, lackluster when it came to participation. Not a lot of people showed up to play, unfortunately. I didn't have one guy show up until like the last half hour that I played, and it, and between me and him, we like super lagged. I don't know if we were lagging each other or what, but my game started or my internet started being a bitch. So it was either him or it was me. But either way, it was fucking irritating. And thus, I just called it a night. Can we hit him with slow. Come on, man. Hit him with that slow. It will help us so very much. Switch diversity and let's get going. Here we go, here we go. Build this motherfucker up and here, here we go, here we go. Nah, don't worry about it, Allegory. Sometimes people are busy. I'm not gonna be mad about it. It was just slightly unfortunate. I mean, we had a pretty good stream during the day with Hollow Knight. I had a pretty good, pretty good showing for that. A lot of people were there. Had a good hangout, had a good time, so. I, w I didn't really have anything to really complain about. Still a still a pretty good stream day, regardless of the Smash Bro lackluster participation. But I will say, if participation doesn't increase a little bit, I might have to start just saying I'm going to do it like every other weekend. That way I can at least start focusing on something else, because if people aren't going to show, there's really no reason for me to do it every week. It also kind of means I can't wait even more for a uh, for a uh, um, what's it called? Time for another approach. What's it called? Mario Maker Two. Because I feel like that's where the participation is going to come back come back to the, the forefront, and people are going to start showing up to participate some more. Die, Hope. No, don't. No, don't kill yourself. Cure Hope. You're dying. Thank you. People can participate in Mario Maker. Yes, they can. When I say participate, I mean people can make me levels to play and/or suggest levels for me to play. That is about as participation as participation can be around here, man. You're basically dictating the levels I play. That's high participation. I'm not going to choose any levels, unless, I mean, unless nobody else has choosing anything. Also, I just realized, we can attack his fist, 
Since when is that a thing? Has that been a thing this whole time? That has not been a thing this whole time. Has it? I'm going for his fucking fist. Didn't even notice that was a thing. Anyway, his fist is fucked. I just fist fucked him. Did you see that? I thought you meant like co-op stuff. Well, I will tell you that we don't know all the details about Mario Maker 2, and from what it looks like, there may be some co-op shit going on. So I will not tell you that there's not going to be co-op on Mario Maker 2, because it totally could happen. Based on the cover of the game, it totally looks like you could do co-op, but I don't know how the co-op's going to work. It might only be if you're local, you can do the co-op stuff. I really don't know. We're going to have to just wait and see until they've announced more details. Which they should be doing, I would think, soon. The game's supposed to come out, like, in another month, right? It's pretty, we're pretty close to Mario Maker 2, like, being a thing. I'm pretty hyped about it. Oh yeah, you definitely gotta take out his fist. This has been way more survivable now that I've taken it, learned how the fist thing works. That's way more doable. Go launch him. Do it. There you go. Let's, let's, let's assault this fucker. How often do I play games off camera? <laughs> Not too often anymore. Ever since I started streaming everything, like late last year, I've kind of just been streaming almost everything I play. I mean, I play some on Friday nights on my own, but it's getting pretty sparse lately. Like, my friends haven't been playing anything together lately. Like, I used to play, like, Fortnite or whatever other shooter me and my friends are playing, you know, at any given time. But right now, we're not playing anything, so... Come on, then. Yeah. Thanks. If anything, on my Friday nights, I've just been playing Rocket League on my own. I've actually considered, like, streaming that even, but I just Change haven't. Plan. I think his fucking fist is back. Okay, I get it. Murder the fist. Murder the fist. Cease the fist's existence. Don't let it murder you first. No! Hiya! Quickly heal! Time yeah, we gotta focus on killing the fist. If you don't kill the fist, we're gonna die. Oh, there is two. No, don't die. Oh, he only hit high. Oh my god. That was so lucky that he only hit Fang. Oh my god. Alright, we got rid of the fist. Whew. Okay. That was very helpful. I think we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Uh, let's heal Fang. Alright, protect. Reestablish, protect, my friend. Reestablish. We're okay. Reestablish. Everything is bueno Thanks. right now. He's slowed down. We should be okay. Just don't let Hope die. Woo, he would have died if he did not get healed right there. Oof, that was good timing. Okay. Keep the enemy off Let's get back to fucking this guy up. He's almost done, man. He's almost done. I think we can get him on this pass if we just keep fudging him up. Wait, did he get his fist back? He did not. His fist just looks menacing, that's all. Let's fucking relentless assault this motherfucker right here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Let's get that victory. Let's taste it. You can have your fist back, son. You won't live long enough to use it, I swear. Dude, launch him. Launch him. There you go. God damn, I'm getting worried when you don't launch him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's feeling real good now. Let's go. Change of plan. I'm gonna go double aggression because he's done. He's done. He's done, dude. He's done. 
Let's go. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to beat him, but I, when I realized that fist thing, that was the main the main caveat there that I wasn't taking advantage of. But we're in there. Mission 12 complete, baby. Woo! Feeling good. Got that royal armlet and became the Bane Slayer. Whatever the fuck that means. Hell yeah. Get it! So this is definitely one of the unique monsters. I'm glad we got a chance to defeat one on our mission through Pulse. Actually, this is our second unique monster. Basically, the ones that are Seath are the unique ones, I think. And that one was definitely a Seath. Mm-hmm. All right. Feeling good. Feeling great. 